Hot on the heels of my 2021 password manager comparison video and 2021 free password manager videos, today we are taking a look at Roboform, which is undoubtedly one of the most affordable password managers and form fillers available to date. So if you are thinking of using Roboform as your password manager or curious as to the other options available out there, then Hold tight. Hi, my name is Pete, and a few weeks ago, I put out one of my most highly requested videos of all time on this channel, which was my top password manager comparison video. That's a mouthful. Where we pitted the likes of 1Password, LastPass, Bitwarden, Keeper, and a few others head to head to see which one came out of top. And of course, it is impossible to focus on reviewing every password manager because just there is just so many of them. So instead, along with another video around NordPass, today we're gonna to be taking a deeper look into Roboform and seeing how it compares to the other password managers out there. Now this video isn't sponsored, I'm not being paid to say nice things, this is just my honest and genuine review on Roboform. And if you're not already, please do consider subscribing to this channel and giving that like button a little bit of a, a tickle as it really helps the channel out and allows me to create more free videos like this. And after I've shot this video, I'll go look online to see if there are any good discounts or offers available and link those down below. Though this is already a really affordable product, so I'll do my best. So with that said, let's get into what I'm going to be covering, sticking with the same format as my previous review. We are looking at security, ease of use, support, major frustrations, and pricing. So anyway, getting straight into things here with security. And we've got a great start. I mean, it supports 2FA and the likes of Google and Microsoft Authenticator, as well as Authy, my favorite 2FA app. It uses 256-bit encryption across the board, so nobody other than you can decrypt your password data. There isn't any support for the likes of YubiKeys, which is a bit of a shame, Let's be honest, the YubiKeys that I keep going on about are realistically not used by most people. I have actually just ordered a bunch of those, so there'll be a video going up on this channel soon to show how to make a, you know, a password manager even more secure and how to set those up too. So uh, make sure you subscribe for that one. Just down there. Uh, Roboform does have a security center, which tells you about you know, how good your passwords are, as well as if you have reused or duplicated any passwords. But it doesn't include some of the more detailed assessments and monitoring that the most expensive services offer. Over to ease of use, and whilst I'm not a huge fan of the interface, it seems a bit kind of basic, at least on the Mac, with you know, tons of white space or black space on dark modes just not being used. But I do have to say that it is a very good at filling in any information on web pages, and not just passwords, but actual forms too. It makes things like the checkout process when shopping online so much easier than with any of the other password managers I've used, which generally only deal with like the basics of you know, name, address, card number. But Roboform can handle all sorts of information, including multiple businesses, which is a fantastic feature because most password apps have a simple, well, this is your home life, this is your work life. Well, if 2020 wasn't the year of a side hustle, don't know what it is, but using this feature, you can store company details of multiple companies. But it worked pretty much flawlessly on yeah, both Mac and iPhone and Android and anything I threw at it to log into or form to fill out. So it does really seem to be robust when it comes to, well, uh, doing its job. You can use Roboform offline and even make changes, which was really, actually really surprised to see as many of the more expensive, more well-known password managers don't have this feature. So, well, that's great too. And lastly, you can also share passwords with other Roboform users, as well as create emergency contacts who can gain access to your account in the event of your untimely demise. Cheerful, hey? For support, well, I only have good things to say here. I did initially have issues getting my data into Roboform due to some issues with the uh, Apple M1 compatibility. Email sent to their support and 30 minutes later, I had a response. I then replied, I think a few hours later, and then another 30 minutes later, I had another response to say that a fix was in the works and well, a few days later, it was all hunky dory again because they released a fix. So yeah, really great here, super responsive, no complaints at all. Over in uh, major frustrations and revisiting those additional information fields like the business information, it is a shame that you can't store other information in here. I mean, the address for a starter, your business email address and business phone number, it, it just seems strange, like a, it's a mishmash of top level information. Like why would you want to store the company registration place but not the address? Why the stock symbol and not your own phone number? And following on from that, you can't add any custom fields, which again is a shame, either on passwords or your personal information. And also just going back to that company thing again, is that Roboform is very confusingly kind of slightly American based. And I say kind of slightly because under the business information, for example, it asks for a company VAT number, which is a British thing, but under type of business, you're missing the likes of like limited, though I guess that would be a C Corp or S Corp. So it just feels a little bit confusing going between some of these screens. On the mobile experience, it is good, but in the app itself, I found myself tapping on items to open them up and you know to copy the details or edit them, when instead it just tries to load the page inside the app, meaning I had to come back and then learn to tap and hold to get to the menus and edit the details. Personally, I prefer just to see that by default. Minor niggle, but it just doesn't behave the same as most, if not like 
all the other password manager apps that I've used before. So that's a bit of adjustment. And then lastly, we are on to pricing. And this is like Roboform's Royal Flush, I guess. Roboform is just $23.88 for one year. Or if you buy five years, it is $99.50, which is just over £1.65, sorry, $1.65 per month, which is incredible value compared to the likes of one pass which are a double if not more than that they do also have a free tier though you can't sync across all devices so it's only useful if you want to just use one device but i would also say to pay for the full version just for that additional you know security that your data is safe so would i recommend roboform well it's got some very stiff competition bitwarden is that affordable end of the market and is really strong competition but i would say that roboform definitely seems to be more capable in filling in forms that all the other password managers I guess, you know, with the name of Roboform, you kind of hope that would be the case. So if you are looking for a very affordable password manager with without the bells and whistles of, you know, dark web monitoring or file storage, then definitely Roboform is something worth looking at. Like I said, I will leave a link down below for any discounts that I can find. And if you have any questions at all, drop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to read and respond to every one of them. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye bye.